I went to Shenzhen and visited a company called Sen Ruida and uh, this company is manufacturing boards or to be precise they solder components on PCBs. Before we enter this big room we have to go through this chamber which removes all the dust and this is how it looks inside of the big room. There are many many machines. The very first machine is this one. Uh, you can see we have PCBs stacked on top of each other and this machine is picking up the PCB on the top and it is placing the PCB on the line. The next machine in the line is this one and it is going to spread solder paste on the top of the PCB. Solder paste it is basically solder which is used to solder down the components and this is how it is done. We are using stencil. Stencil is a metal plate uh, with openings with holes in the places where the parts are and this is how they prepare the solder paste. So once we have the solder here in this machine they are checking uh, if the solder paste is correctly applied uh, and uh, if everything is okay then we have this PCB with solder paste ready for the next uh, step for the next machine which is pick and place machine there can be multiple pick and place machines you can see the components in the reels these components they go to feeders uh, and uh, the machine is picking up the components from feeders and placing them on the PCB the feeders you can see them in front of us these are the feeders okay very often these companies they have multiple pick and place machines uh, because for example some of the components uh, they can be placed very quickly uh, some of the components they need to be more placed more precise so maybe with a little bit lower speed or maybe different reason why they have multiple machines can be that the project is really really big and they need to place many components on the board or maybe some of the machines they can have components which are used between multiple projects so there are a number of reasons why they would like to have multiple pick and place machines this is always fascinating to watch how this is done okay so here you can see the pick and place machine is placing the components on the board and uh, many components they are placed in reels you can see it here very nicely this is how the reels are usually stored uh, but some of the components they can be placed for example in uh, trays or in tubes uh, it depends on components so once we have all the components on the PCB all the SMT or, or surface mount components on the PCB then the board is ready to go into oven so in oven the solder paste will melt down and it will solder the components this oven it has uh, multiple temperature zones it, each temperature zone can have different temperature initially the board is just heated up uh, below the melting point of the paste and only by the end of the uh, oven the temperature is increased very quickly to melt down the paste and solder down the components and at the very end of the oven the PCB will cool down so at this point components are soldered down and the PCB goes into this last machine this last machine is AOI automatic optical inspection based on some reference pictures this machine can uh, decide if all the components are soldered correctly and very often the last machine in the line is uh, some kind of sorting uh, machine which can uh, sort the PCBs based on if uh, they pass the inspection optical inspection or if they fail the optical inspection So this is how it looks at the end of the line. Sometimes uh, 
uh, they need to solder components uh, like BGA, so the components where the uh, paths are under the component, so they are not directly visible, and in these cases they need to use uh, X-ray machines. So that's exactly what we can see here. She placed uh, multiple boards into this X-ray machine, and now she's double-checking the soldering under the chips. So they can, for example, see if there is short circuit or if the the pins are soldered correctly. Here we can see detailed uh, pictures. So once we have all the surface mount components soldered down, then we also need to fit these through hole components. So these are the components with leads, which usually goes through the board. Then there is the optical uh, inspection again uh, to double check if all the through hole components are fitted on the board. Uh, once uh, they are all placed, then they go into this uh, wave soldering machine. Again, this is a very, very cool machine. I, I always like to watch the wave. It looks uh, very nice. Here you can see it. So this is the melted tin or melted solder. And the boards, they just go above the wave. Notice all the boards, they are actually placed in a frame. And this is very interesting because uh, there is something special about the frame. And also notice sometimes they have to place uh, like weight on some of the components so they are not lifted up with the wave during the soldering. So what is special about the frame, do you know? We will see in the moment. Uh, let's wait until this goes out. Okay, so here is the, uh, here are the soldered boards, but notice this is the frame going uh, at the beginning of the line, and notice the openings in the frame. So for each board they have to create special frames, and these openings are only in the places where uh, are the true hole pins. He's going to remove the boards from the frame and uh, he's going to cut out uh, the pins. And of course, uh, in the next step, uh, then they will double check the quality of the soldering and if uh, something is needed, uh, if they need to fix something, they just do it here. Okay, sometimes maybe there can be short circuit or they need to redo some of the soldering, so they do it here. And now all the components are soldered down. Next machine is also very interesting. So very often uh, PCBs are placed into panels and this machine is splitting the panels into individual PCBs. Uh, sometimes these uh, PCBs can be split by hand like this because there is something what is called V-scoring. V-scoring will almost split the PCB but not totally. So this next process is super cool. Uh, he placed all the PCBs into this frame. And this step uh, is, uh, is a very special step. This is not done for uh, every PCB. This is on the, only for the PCBs which need protection. This pro protection is called conformal coating. And uh, this machine is spraying this protection material 
on the components and on the PCB. So it will create thin film which can protect uh, components and PCB, for example, from water. And uh, they placed all the uh, PCBs into this frame for, I think, for several reasons. One of the reasons is because they would like to make multiple PCBs at once, but also I think it will cover the places where you don't want to have the coating. This is the curing machine, I think, it is the curing machine. Uh, usually mm, the material is cured with UV light, I don't know how they do it here. Maybe it's UV light, I don't know. And uh, once uh, it is cured, then basically this board are finished. So this was a very special step, mm, this is not usually done for every PCB. But this one is usually done for every PCB. So this is testing. Once we sold down all the components, the board needs to go through testing. And uh, the company uh, which designed the boards, very often they create this kind of test setup. This test should be uh, very easy, very quick, and uh, every board should go through this test to verify if everything is working. This is the last step. Basically, the board is done. That's all for this video. I hope it was helpful. If you would like to learn more about electronics and board design, check out our online courses. You will find everything important there, from basic board design up to advanced board design and high-speed PCB layout. We have courses in Altium, Cadence, KiCad, and also courses covering many different topics, for example, FPGA, EMC measurements, and so on. Visit our website at fedevel.com. That's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to leave your comments. See you in the next video. Bye.